Morning, hello, and today Gary and I are going to Animal Kingdom, which is rather exciting. Uh, the room was very comfortable, as you can see by the state of the beds, and it's about... I never sleep that soundly when I'm away, and this time I just was like, boom. I had to take the phone out of his hand because he was asleep like this. I fell asleep with the phone in my hand because I was so relaxed and like... Eh. I did, when I, I, when I slept, I slept very, very well. You said last night that the shower was gorgeous. Oh yeah. It really is. It's like under a nice hot waterfall. Now we have the benefit of having a bus stop right there. So we have bus stop, room, pool. Brilliant. <laughs> Treat yourself. So if you want, if you want a similar situation, 8A is where we're staying. Cabana 8A. Get a nice picture in front of Animal Kingdom. Yes. Right, at this time in the morning, no one's really paying attention. There's a few extra bag checks here at the moment. If I knew the words to this, it'd be amazing lip syncing this. Woo! <laughs> As Gary has the Disability Access Pass, we're going to go to Flight of Passage first. Um, it's currently a 180 minute wait, which means that it's probably going to be a long time. We'll have to wait to get our Fast Pass returns. So we'll go there, do that first, and then we can go and do um, some of the things in the park. We can do uh, the treks around the animals if we want to. We need some breakfast as well. So we're thinking Starbucks. The Starbucks. This is a great time of year to come in. Yeah. As presented by Gary Z. Come on down for the Halloween town. <laughs> now if you want to avoid a little little bit of the crowd, walk through Island Mercantile to the other side and you'll find yourself to the entrance at Pandora. So wait, you will find yourself at the entrance to Pandora. Grammar is important. Look at this Rivers of Light merchandise. Love it. And here you will see Pandora to the left. Magic. Are you excited to travel to the world of Pandora? I am, because once I'm there, I hope to find my inner spirit child. What's that for us? <laughs> but I'm just going to add a little explainer in here. So, there's a comedian called Joe Lysa, and he's talking about the fact that he went to a fortune teller. Uh, and that she said your inner spirit animal is a walrus. So he bought a walrus ring and starts talking to the walrus. So the walrus says like, normally walrus says things like, kick that toddler. But no, I resist. So now whenever something happens, we're like, what's that walrus? Go and touch it. Why, what is it? Go and touch it. <laughs> Just go touch it. like <laughs> It's, the more you touch it, the more it steams, and then it squirts out the top. Look, like that. Uh, <laughs> look. <laughs> oh, that poor old lady, she got soaking wet and she was like... It looks much more impressive in real life. Wow. Now I understand why everyone goes on about it. Because in pictures it's like, it just looks like a load of rocks. <laughs> but it's not. In real life it looks incredible. Right, we're going to take a shortcut which is down here. And it's a lot bigger than I thought. It's like you're in another world, like you aren't actually in Disney anymore. Yeah. You said that in your vlog with Pete. Yeah. It doesn't feel like Disney, it feels like somewhere weird and magical. They should do a Wonderland version, Alice in Wonderland version. That would be like this as well, like all weird and that. Ooh. We've got our return time at 12.45. Um, considering that it's 10 o'clock, it's pretty good. It's like basically the out, it's basically the wait time. Um, just not 
in line both here. I'm not really sure how they do it. I'm pretty sure it's a similar wait time to what's actually posted, I guess. Um, but we've also got a fast pass for the Navi River journey at four o'clock as well. So it'd be nice if we could come back here about 12.45, maybe get lunch here if you want. Um, yeah. Le Starbucks. Now if you're coming to Starbucks in the morning, don't come in through this entrance. There's two entrances to this Starbucks. So just come round here and go through the other door. In this way. Look at that. Just save a massive line. What are you thieving? I'm not thieving anything. I wanted just a bag with the... Just the Parks logo on it. Bigger for the scrapbook. But I've also got it wet, so I'm going to have to get another one. Oh. Okay. I won't lie. Starbucks is very busy in the morning. So if you want to save your time and come back a bit later, please do. Went to Starbucks, picked up my breakfast sandwich as well as a caramel latte. Ooh la la. We're currently looking for a place to sit because I don't really want to sit on the wall outside Starbucks. So. Perfect. Should we go over here? We'll go over by the majestic African wall. So a little tip for you, if you want to go to Starbucks, um, there isn't any seating area near Starbucks, so if you want to uh, sit down, like I wanna, I wanna eat my breakfast sandwich without spilling it all down me. So if you just walk into Africa and come to the Tamu Tamu, it's like a small quick service, but they have this massive seating area behind it that no one really uses. So you can just come over here and enjoy your Starbs. So we are now on our way to Rafiki's Letdown, I mean Planet Watch. Um, <laughs> Somebody likes to pet the goats. That's me. You know it ain't me. Um, we are heading over there this morning because everyone's at Pandora and trying to do retractions and things. And we're just like, we've got until 12.45 until we can start reading. Well, until 11 something, because that's what we got fast pass for Everest. So we're just thinking, we've got an hour. Might as well just chill out and go there when it's quiet. The seating area, by the way, perfect. Right, Rafiki's Planet Watch. Let down. Not let down, let's go see the <laughs> Rufiki's little animals mm -hmm. and go squirrel, squirrel, not part of the attractions, just the free roaming squirrel, <laughs> unless you want to autograph them. The one thing I do actually like about Rufiki's Planet Watch is a nice little relaxing train journey. Bit of a hassle to get there, but it's relaxing in itself. There's more people than I expect going here this time of the morning. It was really quiet last time we came in June. Unless it's only just opened. We've realised why it's busy. Uh, the first train to the big train watch is at 10, and it's only just gone about half 10 ish. Yeah, so we'll be the first, the second sort of wave or third wave of people that are actually going up there to see everyone. So. Yeah. We were just discussing, no one ever goes down to like the far end of the train, or line or whatever, <laughs> but lovely space, but the rest of the thing is just completely packed. At this time everyone, we are ready to go, so for your safety, please remain seated and there's no more switching seats at this time, for your safety, thank you everyone. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. You're in the vlog. And I repeat, it's Planet Watch. You get to see the Animal Science Center, the Animal Exhibit, the Vet Hospital, the Petting Yard, where you get to pet some of our domesticated animals, like chips and goats. We also have carrots and meat and Welcome to Rupert Gibbs Planet Watch. Enjoy your time here, folks.
we're currently at the front of the queue of everyone exiting the train so we're thinking if we keep up the pace you'll be able to see lovely scenic views Ooh, of Rafiki's for planet watch without everyone in my way sorry guys do it for the vlog the thing I always think when I come to Rafiki's Planet Watch is that one day Disney's just going to close this and leave it abandoned and like I'll be able to say in the future Oh, I came, I went there before they closed it a bit like how some people can say Oh, I went to River Country before they closed it and it got abandoned and stuff so It's nice It's, it's nice It's nice It's just one of those places you like you can say you've been but really it's not an A-list attraction are you power walking so you can get in front of the line of the meet and greets? Yes! <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to beat everyone to the meet and greets. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is nice, man. It is very relaxing. Especially if you beat the rest of the hubbub. I guess you'd have to just wait for like one train load to not be here. Yeah. And then it's basically empty. I don't think I've actually really spent any decent amount of time here. So Gary, who are you about to meet? Doc McStuffins, whose name I find hilarious. Is it just so you can make your nephew jealous? Yes, I just want to send a picture and say, Mick McStuffins. <laughs> so they have a thing here called Song of the Rainforest. So let's go in and have a little look. Please enter now. Gary! We'll go in this one, shall we? Eight adults. How exciting. Okay, so we close the door. Headphones. Headphones. This is very weird. Okay, I'll put my headphones on and I'll also make it so that you can hear what we're hearing. Now, <laughs> as we travel back in there is a spirit that lives within the rainforest. A spirit of life that surrounds you. <laughs> oh, very good, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I love it. Um, so. The songs, that, the sounds that we're hearing, you won't be able to hear right because it's very much going left to right in the ear. Yeah, it's surround sound. It's surround sound. It's very good. Like the storm and everything you're listening to. It's lovely. Oh, Jesus! The, all right, so you can't really hear what we're hearing right now, but there's like tigers and stuff growling in our ears. And it's actually quite, this is quite a scary ride, really. Mm. It's not a ride, but like a scary attraction. I never knew this was here. Oh, there's a snake now! Oh! Oh, the eagle got him. <laughs> that was terrifying! <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what these headphones are, but they are very clever. Because it sounded like there was a port, there was a part where there was a chainsaw, and it sounded like there was a chainsaw going up and down next to my head. I had to open my eyes and be like, Oh my god, please tell me there's not a chainsaw. It was so good! Mm. Come and do this, also. <laughs> If you're on a date and you wanted to make out with someone, this is the this best. is the place. <laughs> Cause like this is our own little private booth, and then the lights go off and everything. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I have to say that's probably one of the most immersive attractions I've ever been on in Walt Disney World. How weird is that? So yeah, Song of the Rainforest. If you come to Rafiki's uh, Planet Watch, I'm pleasantly surprised by that. Do you know what? 
Song of the Rainforest. You've actually made it worthwhile coming to Rafiki's Planet Watch. I really enjoyed that. I'm still, well, there's a bit where the lion just like shouted, like roared in your ear, and it scared the life out of me. I have a little space here for animal encounter. Uh, doesn't look like they've got any showings at the moment. It must be like a height of summer thing, and it's really busy. But they have like a little stage down there. Oh, what's in here? I've got turtles. There. Pick up a brush. Let's get to it. Now the trick is to not disturb the ones inside the blue lines. Hey there. Oh yes. A little salon. Do be on your ears, girl. <laughs> they love this. He came to me. It was like, oh yeah, go on, treat me. They're very needy. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, are you, mate? <laughs> Loving this. That one's Dooney. Are <laughs> oh, you waking? Yup, yup, yup. Boys are bacon. Yup, yup, yup. He's a big pig. Yup, yup. You could be a big pig too. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> This is pig corner, evidently. He's like, I'm sleeping. The pig was bruh. They're not, they're not, they're not cats. And <laughs> 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 Little donkey. What's that song? Little donkey. Carry Mary. Oh. <laughs> Little donkey. Carry Mary. Something, something, on something. A dusty something. Road? Oh, on a dusty road. It has been a, about 20 years since I ever sang that song. Good old primary school. Now, children, after you pet the animals, please wash your hands thoroughly. Oh. Could you imagine if someone did that? I'm just the. I'm the paparazzi for Gary and his character meet and greets. We won't know. Oh, it was Grandmother Willow talking to us. Yeah, it sounded like it. Sounds in here are great. Ooh, you little lizard. So, in case you didn't see the setup when we went in, these are the booths. You go in, you put your headphones on, and you just push the little start button, and then you're transported away. <laughs> She's about 15 years old. These usually live for 20 and 25 years. She's fully grown, so she's probably not gonna uh, get any bigger, but they, they are sometimes longer than us. <laughs> she's about six feet long. I just touched a snake. Oh, girl. I, touch I just touched a snake. <laughs> I've never touched a snake before. <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's actual operation going on right now. 
run out of the building and have intensive care rooms for the kids that are put into intensive care. Um, I, I don't know of any myself, but I'm sure there have been. They're doing an actual and operation right now. Um, and also, uh, a little boy was like, Do many animals die here? Um, and the guy was saying, like, Som sometimes just animals will get sick and die. Um, they do a lot of preventative care to make sure that they don't get to that stage. Um, but he said there's a few things they can't avoid. For example, there was a giraffe that got hit by lightning. That was an unlucky giraffe. But over here is the Chinese crocodile lizard. And whilst I was watching it, it opened its mouth and I went, yes. <laughs> On your camera. <laughs> it's doing it again. <laughs> That's the African bullfrog. But I look at that and think, Nigga, looky, 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 wanna hug a I expect Princess Leia to be sat next to him. Look at this. Yeah. That's a, a malt of a tarantula. Mind your head. Look at this snake. It's an African tree snake. Where? Right there. Oh! What are you doing? Looking at this to see how it works. I've put Gary and Adam Walt Disney World 2017. You're gonna wear that as a dog collar? No, I just wanted to see how it works. Do you want to look at the shop? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> huh? This is so cute. <laughs> oh look Gary, pins! I've just seen these binoculars. They're seven dollars. Comedy value, present to yourself. And also, we're going on animal tracks and stuff like that, so we can... It works, because I can see right up your nose. And you can also find hot men's with them. Dual advantage. Ta-da! They do work. How close can you see my face? <laughs> they work and everything. Them that are 40 on my face. <laughs> it's a bit more humid, though. I think it's lovely temperature. It's a tiny bit more. Well, we're in amongst the trees, so we're bound to be humid. Oh, I don't think I've ever been to Rafiki's Planet Watch where the wait has been 20 minutes to get on the train back. Bye. Have fun today. Bye. Did you all get to see Dr. Stuff at this time? Yeah. Excellent. And Rafiki. And Rafiki. Oh, how about the bedding area? Yeah, we did it all. Oh, good job. Bye, Diana.
we had a lot of stuff. I, I don't remember from last night. Well, we didn't. I didn't think we did much because I was too keen to get out of there. But <laughs> the song of the rainforest. I really enjoyed that. We're right by the engine as well. Choo choo. Faces. Huh? I need more comedy faces. You're having a seizure? It's a look. It's very autumn slash fall 2017, don't you know? At this time, we're passing some backstage areas of Asia. Soon we'll be seeing three Asian hotspots left to those that can be found in Indonesia. Oh, look! They're built on stilts, and that's to help protect villagers from floods caused by monsoon rains, or any wild animals that might try to get in at night. Oh wow, I've never seen that before. Or well, maybe I have, I just didn't remember it. If you brought along a personal stroller, please wait to unfold it until you cross the iron gates of the yellow safety line. Thank you for riding the Wildlife Express, and we hope you have a wild rest of your day here in Disney's Animal Kingdom. Kutoka, which means way out. Did you enjoy your time at Rafiki's Planet Watch? I did. I enjoyed it more than I ever have. I like the animals. I still think that Song of the Rainforest made it. it really did. This is the Yak and Yeti restaurant. Never been there before. We're heading over to Expedition Everest uh, because of Rafiki's Planet Watch and the time it takes to get back from there. We actually stopped for a photo pass as well, but the guy just was like going mental. He took like 10, 20 photos of us. Um, so we're heading over to there now and we might just about make it. Also, fun story this little thing here, it replicates the mountain if you look at it just right. How cool is that? The most expert trekking experience by Gary. <laughs> oh, what lovely weather for a roller coaster, isn't it? Breezy. Breezy. Oh, God! You missed that smack in the face with the camera. <laughs> Dolphin. 
there's Adam trying to roll his eyes. And there's me literally screaming for dear life. We now have our fast pass for Festival Lion King. Um, I've showed you this plenty in my vlogs and I just want to enjoy this show so I'm not going to film any of it. I'm going to enjoy watching the Tumble Monkeys. Tumble Monkey Bays. And I'm sure Gary will show you some of it in his vlog. I did say it wasn't well, a film, to but the look how good this shot and is. The Festival of the Lion King. And now, we proudly present the Festival of the Lion King. Next we have Nakawa. Which is Swahili folk. Good looking. Hey, good looking. And this is Kabibi. Which means impatient. It means princess. Uh, and finally we have Sawadi. Which is Swahili for the gift. The gift. <laughs> yes, I said the gift. And if you want to stay good looking, you best back off the attitude, mister. Besides, here thinks I'm the gift, don't you, baby? What is your name? Ooh, I think Steve is Swahili for my lucky day. <laughs> 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 that is an elephant, and we'll never forget. Very well, everyone, trunks up, and on the count of three, let's trump it triumphant. One, two, three. <laughs> I'm beside myself. I'm in love. Me and a tumble monkey running away together. Why not? We now have our access pass for Flight of Passage. Flight of Passage. Be prepared. <laughs> um, I love this ride, as you can probably tell from my, from my vlogs. Um, I'm very, very much looking forward to Gary's first impressions. So um, I'll just cut to. The next scene being us getting off the ride, because obviously you can't film on it, and you've seen the pre-show and stuff before. What do you think? Welcome back. Please step off the link chair, gather right. your belongings. <laughs> what do you think? It was good. I don't think my eyes uh, just to it now, because a lot of it was blurring. Did you have your sunglasses on again, like when we went on no, the tour that time? <laughs> When I pushed the glasses to my eyes, everything sharpened, so it was just the 3D and my glasses didn't go well together for some reason. But, but the experience overall? The overall, there was like what we weren't, you know, I screamed out loud, I was like, I thought I was going to get hit by water. There's a bit, there's a bit when the uh, orange bird thing came at you and you were like, <laughs> There's a lot of moments where it seems more than the rise. It seems very real. With a lot of that, the smell got to me more than the visuals. Every time there was a breeze or there was a smell of the ocean, I felt like I was actually falling. And I was like, I started to panic that I was literally <laughs> A 
I've just found a Pandora and a Flight of Passage pin. You knew I'd come over here to the pins. Oh, they're nice. I like the Pandora one. I quite like the Flight of Passage one because it's like a thing to say you've done it. Hmm. to get lunch at the Satuli Canteen. As we're heading in. I'm definitely feeling a protein bowl. Or, perhaps, the curry dumplings. They are also very good. the vegetable curry pods today. I genuinely think this quick service is like the best value for money. This is what I've got. Delish. Let me show you what's inside. So, it's like a little samosa inside. Lovely. So, we've just come out of the Satuli Canteen and my god, the weather is perfect. Not cold, not hot, not, not humid. humid. <laughs> just Perfect. And Jinx, you and me a Coca-Cola. And just a tiny, tiny little breeze just to give a bit of fresh air yeah, off the water. I love it. Brilliant. I love it. Love it. We're now going on the Navi River journey. We have a fast pass. Say what? There's a family in front of us that were like incompetent in getting their fast passes out. And the woman's like, why do we have to scan it every ride? And I was like, because that's how it works. She's like, oh, it's just silly. I'm like, no, it's not. Just have your ticket, scan your ticket. Not hard. Which is a good day to have a fast pass for this. <laughs> It'll work. Thank you.
going to the real world. Well, the real world is not as good. Real world is Pandora anyway. We are heading to Kilimanjaro Surprise to get a return time uh, for Gary's Access Pass. We'll call uh, it Access. Access Pass, yes. Um, and then, where are we going after that? I don't know. Oh, Discovery. My God, he was gorgeous. Oh, oh my Lord. Sorry, I got completely sidetracked. Uh, we're going to Discovery Island to do something. Characters, I think. I just completely lost my train of thought. We got our return time, but it's only 20 minutes from now, so we didn't want to stray too far. So we're going to check off the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail from our to-do list. Got my binoculars ready. I paid $7 for them. Animal Kingdom branded. Bargain. Animal Kingdom branded. Yeah, they use them on the safari to find the attractive men. <laughs> I just overheard a cast member talking to a guest and the cast member was like, oh, the monkey looks very happy because it's about to rain. And the guest went, do they like the rain? And the cast member went, yeah, they live in the rainforest. And it was just the way he just did it, so deadpan. Oh, cracked me up. Oh, that's a very pretty bird there. Oh, it's a pretty bird. I tell you what, these binoculars are very helpful in the bird enclosure. Did you know that hippos? <laughs> When they're sleeping, you bought sleep some of them underwater. glasses, and now you think you're David Ambrose. <laughs> they sleep underwater, and then I, I can't do an Australian accent to save my life. Um, they sleep underwater, and then they come up for air without even waking up. Fun fact about gorillas, they build a new nest every night, so it's like they make their bed every night. Thanks, Amber. You're welcome, mate. <laughs> Amber's not Australian. Who? Oh, I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, you're, thinking you're welcome. Of, <laughs> you're thinking of, what's his name? Crocodile Man. Steve. Have you seen his son? Yeah. He's basically the reincarnation of his yeah. father. <laughs> So all right, Dave? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right, mate. You ready for bed? Oh, yeah, I think so. It's been a long day, isn't it? Oh. I'm already in bed, mate. Unfortunately, the rain is coming. However, the rain is very good for Kilimanjaro safaris. A lot of the animals on the safari love the rain. He's out to warn you. Now every time I come on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, I try filming. I'm not very good at filming animals. I'm, I'm a bit like the, um, if you ever watch Top Gear, it's like when they took the Top Gear film crew to film animals when they went to Africa. But the film crew is used to filming fast cars, it's not used to filming animals. All the shots are really bad. I'm used to filming me and Disney attractions, not animals. So I'm just going to save you the time and I'll see you after the adventure. We're here at the safari meet and greet with Mickey and Minnie at the Adventure Outpost. I've never done this. The Discovery I'll be in just a moment. Sure, thank you. Um, luckily we came for a return time, she was like, your return time is now! Also, look, colour coordinated with the wall. 
I love how they've got all these pictures of Mickey and Minnie on their safari. Here they are in Africa. I'm in Asia, I believe. Hello, Minnie. Can you see yourself in the mirror? You look fabulous. Eyelashes are on point. Mickey, you look very handsome as well. Do you like my binoculars? They've got you on them. <laughs> There are literally arrows painted on the floor. <laughs> Love these lights. You got a screwdriver? I'll get them for you. <laughs> Treat yourself. Klepto. Klepto. <laughs> we are descending into Dino Land, USA. For an adventure back in time to the time of the dinosaurs. We're going on dinosaur. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! Some are fat and some can roar. No, that's not it. <laughs> Gary just went in ahead of me. He made it all the way in there before he realised that I wasn't actually in the fast pass line. Hi Gary! D-I-N-O-S-A You are a dinosaur. Travelers, place all loose items in the pouch in front of you. Fasten your seatbelt and remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the time rover. And please watch children. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hit. Let's roll. Whee! Let's go get that dino. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Whoops! Yay! Yeah. He survived! Just. <laughs> Whenever there's an exit, there's a gift shop! <laughs> Oops, sorry. Getting in people's way. Guys, Gary is dragging me on Primeval World. Ride. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 
I'm gonna need this <laughs> Photo pass, you get it for free. That's really good, isn't it? Come on in. Come on in. Touch your magic band. Oh god, I misjudged the chair. Thanks for touching your magic band or card. It says, do this and then press OK. We're there going, OK. It's not working. And then we go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can treasure them forever. Please insert oh. the amount shown on the screen to print. Okay, we're not printing, but we're just happy to have them on our thing. Done! In the whole of Walt Disney World, there's only one ride I've never done. Triceratops Spin. Oh, yeah, yeah, did it right. Great, good job at it. Ready! No. Oh, I'm the up and down. That's exciting. Ha <laughs> ha! Whee! I don't like the tip, it makes you feel like you're falling over. Ooh! Lovely view of Primeval World. ridden every ride in Walt Disney World. Ta -da! We <laughs> managed to book a fast pass for Rivers of Light. Uh, we can go in there from 7.05 to 7.30. My advice is don't bother going at 7.05 or even lining up before then. Um, just because Gary just pointed at this. Of course I want a picture. I always want a picture. So what I was saying is don't bother going to the fast pass at 7.05, go at 7.30 when the fast pass finishes. So the show doesn't start till 7.45. Less that custodial for ducking. We're currently going past Everest. There's a chance that the wait time may be down. So we may be able to go on it before Rivers of Light, but no one knows. We were going to get a return time, but again, they were like... So we're just walking on it. We, we keep coming to the get a return time when the rides are quiet. Uh, there's only one ride that we've actually had to wait for in return time was quite a passage. How is it that you always get the posters, the interactive posters, and I never get anything? They feel bad for me. I'm on the poster again. Okay. I can't get over how good this camera is at picking stuff up. <laughs> oh, 
knew thee well. So just to prove my tip, this is the size of the theatre, like back there, right? We are literally three rows from the front, and we came in five minutes before the show. Perfect. And it's nice to see it if you're here, but I wouldn't come here to see it. Also, they have this giant lily pad that squirts fire, and that wasn't in the show today, so I'm guessing that had an issue. Uh, okay. Gary and I have learned. 
Burn. If you want to see the back of the awakening of the Tree of Life, just come to opposite Flight of, not Flight of Passage, what's it called? Flight of Wonder, the show. Uh, there's a little seating area there and you can sit and watch the Tree of Life from behind during its awakening. You can hear the music very well. Uh, and it's pretty enough. Gary hasn't seen Pandora at night, so we're currently walking around the long way from the show via uh, Africa and the Festival of the Lion King show uh, to see that, maybe see a Tree of Life show, and then we're going to head back to the room. Boop, boop. Pandora at night. Very cool. I'm impressed. This is very cool. <gasps> oh, rain on the lens. Perfect. We were having so much fun, we didn't realise the park's actually closed now. So, uh, we're going to have to head out. In she goes. Down she blows. Lovely. Hello there, Gary. Hello. How are you? You must recognize me from my YouTube channel, Gary Say. What? Oh, one of them. Never heard of me, eh? Or so you say. You're wearing a name badge. I am. That's how I know your name. Hey, desperate. I have no idea about your YouTube channel. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Mm. And hey, you haven't even got a body. I didn't want to mention it, because it might be a sensitive subject. I have a body, I'm just stick thin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we just missed the bus again. But we're at the front, that means. Oh, get a chair. <laughs> yes. Gary bought a safari Mickey because we met him today. Will they see that? Yeah. Yeah. So cute, as you were. Anyway, um, because I just thought, that, like, Portland's Riverside does technically have that, but I never really thought about it because we were always close enough to the room. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, um, I always thought Coronado Springs was bigger than it really is. Actually, it's probably the same size as Riverside that we said last time. And the fact that the bus does go around all the things, it doesn't take that much time. I always thought it'd take longer. And I always thought it'd be a hassle when really the bus stop is literally next door to our room. So it saves us a walk every day. Every time. And we can also take the bus to the front as well, like if we don't want to walk to the front. So, which would be incredibly lazy because we're right in front of the amenities as well. Yes, but what I'm trying to say is, Carnarno Springs has pleasantly surprised me really, and I'm very happy that we're staying there. I stay there every time. Oh, I love coming back to the smell of this room. So... Oh, we didn't tip service. Well, we'll do it this time, tomorrow. We'll do it double. Yeah. I just called uh, the front desk and said, oh, hi, what time does the pepper market close? And she was like, oh, 10 p.m. I was like, okay, great. Looks at the clock, 9.45. We need to go. It is absolutely piddling down. Piddling down. I was going to use another word that began with P, but I thought best keep it family appropriate. I love that. I'm wearing flip flops and this is a very slippery, wet, wooden bridge. So I'm currently using this technique to get across. I nearly made it, I nearly made it, made it, yay! So there I was, walking through the Coronado Springs lobby. I was like, I just chucked a bucket of water over me. He had his mug open and was just swinging it along. <laughs> just chucking buckets of water over me. Good thing it was me and not someone else. People will love that. <laughs> And we've made it to the pepper market in time, as it looks. Oh, it's 11 p.m. 
She lied. She lied. <laughs> that means I'm going to get my sweets now. Yeah, because that closes at 10. Don't run. What did you buy? My favourite thing in Disney World. I've got two packets of Minnie's Bake Shop Graham cookies. Ooh, treats These won't last evening. long. No. And I've got one to take home. But I might buy another one to take home, so I've got a backup one. Oh, for God's sake. Let's see what we got. Dear Lord, let there be chicken. Ooh. The man advertising the quick service dining plan is rather handsome. Guys, you won't believe what they have here. Cheers! Can we get No, 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 not one. We've got carrot cake. I love carrot cake. Okay. Am I gonna get? I might get churros though. We can share those, can't we? Can we then? Yeah. How many churros do you get? Today? Don't know. I'll ask her. Got a good portion of churros, and I got some caramel sauce, white chocolate sauce, and chocolate sauce. What'd you go for? Turkey burger and fries. Lovely. And it looks incredible. And I went for chicken tenders and fries. What were you going to say? They pile it up. <laughs> yeah. I've really been like, like, hacking at it, and there's still those left. Good value for money. In hindsight, I should have just gone for uh, kids because I'm already full. We are back at the room with said treats. I've got my churros right here. Gary has his graham crackers as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're gonna be chilling out here for the rest of the evening and not doing anything very exciting. So I will, well, we will see you tomorrow when we're going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. My first time. Woohoo! We're gonna have a very chilled out day um, during the day tomorrow and then go to the party then, so. We will see you then. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see all my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.